out the new equipment today so pardon me you're gonna see me fiddle with it just a little bit because it's new i'm not used to shooting off a monitor and we're trying to shoot moving birds because i want to give you guys a real live perspective of what's going on with that camera and what i'm seeing i want you guys to experience all of this with me today so stay tuned and uh, i promise you that i'll get more efficient with this as it goes on this is only the second time i've used uh, this as soon uh, simo uh, gizmo <laughs> with my iphone to turn it into a monitor but I, I you know i seen that on youtube on some other channels and i was like dude that is such an excellent idea to let everybody experience all this beautiful stuff you may be sitting in an office or at home or just can't get out today due to obligations but we're going to try to share those experiences in the in the future with you guys so hey you can see all this beautiful scenery and animals and whatever else comes by so thanks for watching there we go overexposed so this monitor is pretty cool but i wish that you know i could still look through the evf but that's my only gripe about it but actually it's it's working pretty good um it's taking me a little more time to get used to tracking the birds and all here with it you know looking at this instead of looking through the evf but let's see if we can get some good shots of uh flying birds here we've got some seagulls flying let's see what happens here all right guys i've actually got a small rig adapter on the assoon monitor here but you guys can see what's going on here um got a motion going on at my house but we'll just try to catch a couple of birds here in flight and uh, a little bit tougher for me to catch them going let's put it in a wide um let's put it in a meter let's put it in multi let's put the there we go let's go over here and run the uh, focus area up to wide and let's see if we can get some of these birds flying here and uh, let's record the screen here just a little bit, show you guys how it works. So come in here and you hit record, and you'll see the little button start recording here. A little bit of lag, just a little bit. And we're gonna record the screen just a little bit, and let's see what happens. But I will, uh, I'm will. i gonna hang the GoPro up and we'll get some shots. Pelican, Pelican. Let's see if we can get him here. Okay, let's see if we can get him in the frame here, come on. Where you at? Got him out of frame, didn't I? That's what happened. All right, guys, we've got a bird out on the buoy here. So let's get some good photos of him. I got him. Let's see what we got here. Let's run this down just a little bit. Let's get up on him. Watch this APC crop mode on this full frame camera. Watch what this does. Brings them on in there, don't it? Yeah. Pretty cool, right? Check that crop mode out. Look at the difference. Now that's on 400 millimeters, so you guys can see what what it's doing as far as crop goes. It it zooms it on in, gives you a little bit more out of that 400 millimeter G Master lens, don't it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I use that a lot, but I do have a Sigma 600 millimeter coming today, so let's get ready for that, and we'll be testing that too. But let's let's uh let's see what we can do here maybe we can get us a couple of birds flying here and uh, we'll show the footage of that too so let's see what happens need a little activity folks let's get the bird up on the shrimp boat here yeah. we may need to overexpose him a little bit That's probably going to be a silhouette shot there with him on that bright sky. But again, I am using a new tool here, and it's going to take me a while to get used to it because I'm used to looking through the viewfinder. So we've got a boat here. I got it in zone mode because I've tried to catch the birds in and, and lock the autofocus on and trying to figure out what my style is or what the most efficient way is for me 
to uh, catch the birds in flight with a good, you know, good autofocus with a, you know, get a higher percentage of keepers. There we go. We got us a seagull that time. So, yeah, it's taken me a little while, folks, to get used to shooting this thing with uh, these birds and this monitor. See how I can follow that. Hmm, interesting. I might get the hang of this yet, so we'll see what happens. <laughs>